hello there. Welcome to Drawing with Cheesecake the Cat. That's me, Cheesecake the Cat. This episode is what I like to call a putting it all together episode. This is where we take the things that we've been drawing and combine them to make a big picture. In this case, we will take our shark, our Portuguese man o' war, our jellyfish, our coral, and our pufferfish and make a beautiful picture of the ocean. If that sounds like fun, grab something to draw with and something to draw on and follow me. All right, so here we go. Let's draw our ocean scene. So I thought I'll draw a little piece of coral right down here and a nice sandy hill up here and all of the rest of our coral in this area and some water across the top where our Portuguese man of war will go. So let's draw the water first. Just make a nice wavy line and leave enough room at the top for the Portuguese man of war's float. Then we'll make some shorter wavy lines just to look a little bit like waves. Stagger them like bricks and fill them in wherever you might think there's a big gap. And there's the top of our ocean. It looks good. So let's draw our lumpy coral down here. Remember, similar to our last lesson, it looks a little bit like a bush. And we'll put a little bit of sand, do it in one piece or two, and just connect any open ends. Now let's draw the hill of sand across the bottom of the sea. We'll start at the edge. And imagine it goes behind our lump of coral and we'll pick it up and continue up just like so. Next, we'll draw a brain coral right in the middle. It's very eye-catching. Then we'll fill it with S's and J's, little squiggles. Just keep adding them until you run out of room to put more. Looks pretty good. Just a little bit more. Good. Now we'll draw more coral here. You can make it smooth or lumpier, however you like. Then we'll draw another piece of coral right behind this one. Go all the way back over here to the sand. Let's do one more piece of coral right here, and it looks like it's a little farther back. Now, the coral that we drew before that looks like sticks, let's put one of those right here. They look like little branches and arms, and you just sort of randomly make them up. And just keep going till you come back down. And let's do a little one over here on this side. This one's a little straighter. And then a very small one over here. It's just two branches. And the next time we draw will be the tube type. And remember, the corners are not square. They're sort of rounded. Let's do another one here. And another one right here. Then we'll do two behind these just like so and one beside it and then we do one more at the very top now you remember the little flat c shape laying on the top of each one it makes them look like tubes and next we'll put a little shadow down the side by just putting some lines just like this and I try to keep them all on the same side. There we go. There we go. That looks nice. Now the next thing we can draw is a sea anemone. Down here, it looks a little bit like one of our tubes. A couple lines. But now the tentacles are very squiggly little lines. Sort of chunky looking. 
we'll draw several in a row across the top, a little bit on the sides, and then we'll just fill it in with little U shapes. And there's our sea anemone. We also drew a starfish. So we'll make a little triangle with two triangle arms. And this is wider because there are two legs. One, two. And we also drew some seaweed, do you remember? So let's do one down here. Put as much seaweed or as little seaweed as you like. Whoops. And we'll put a little bit of sand right there. And let's draw another one up here. And I tilt them a little bit so they look like they're moving with the current. Here's another one. There. That's nice. And the last thing we'll do down here is a sea urchin. So a nice little circle like the brain coral, but smaller. We'll make a line for sand. And then we'll draw long spines all the way around. And the second row of spines will be a little shorter, but crossing over the line of the sea urchin's circle. And then a few small ones in the middle because they're pointing toward us. And lastly, we'll add dots. And we'll just put them around our reef to make it pop out a little bit, to give it a little bit of punch. And we'll keep it sort of on the right to match our, our tube coral. And just keep filling them in. And that's more and more, not too many. Just add a few oddball ones here and there. And you can put a few dots in the sand as well. Now before we finish, we're going to put a thicker line around the brain coral to make it pop out. And we'll just follow the other line, make it a little bit thicker. And then the brain coral jumps out. I think this is good. That's our background. Our sharks, our man -or, our jellies, and our pufferfish. Add a few bubbles if you like, and it'll be a great picture. Great job. Wow, that was amazing. I hope your picture turned out great. And don't forget, you can make the picture look any way you want. As many fish, as many coral, whatever it looks good to you. Mix it up, change it in any way that seems right. Add in your own ideas, and you will have fun, fun, fun. So until next time, draw, 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 and draw some more. Bye-bye.